Hi guys. So we are in the beginning stages of a part professional, part DIY kitchen renovation. And the first step is for us to remove our breakfast bar. We want our counters to be all one, um, one height and they can't come and measure for them until the raised breakfast bar is removed. So we contacted a few carpenters and they flaked on us. And so we decided to do it ourselves and document the process. Um, and just so you know, as you watch, yes, I, I wear house slippers all the time. So you're gonna see that. <laughs> so here are the kitchen counters. And what we're doing is we want to drop this breakfast bar down. I, want, I wanted a flat surface um, and they won't measure the new counters until the breakfast bar is dropped down. And so this bar goes all the way around into the living room. And so you can see like we're gonna have to take down that wall and figure out what we wanna do with the trim. And then there's tile that I had painted just to match the walls down here. So that's probably all gonna have to come out and be re-drywalled. But my main focus is just getting this breakfast bar down and like that weird, ugh, weird triangle piece in the back and getting the backsplash so that we can reframe out this little wall and then we can have them come out to actually measure and kind of, you know, go ahead and move forward. And I can worry about what I'm going to do on the drywall um, side after that. I just want to get the measuring done so we can move forward. So I'm really not like 100% on like what I'm doing here. I've watched a lot of YouTube videos um, and I watched a lot of Korean installation videos and they say that it's more like it's attached with just like silicone. So I'm going to take a knife and I'm going to cut the silicone underneath and around the edges and then I'm just gonna like pop it a few times with a sledgehammer from underneath just to see if it loosens up. So I just got this little stick to come out from underneath the counter. And so now I can see that it was just kind of a spacer and there's another piece of wood right here. So I think this whole piece of wood is gonna have to come off, but I can see like the underlying lip of the Corian. So I'm just taking my crowbar and I'm kind of wedging it underneath and just trying to loosen the counter a bit. And that's helping a lot. Watch out, watch your... Yay! <laughs> yeah, there's nails. Did you cut this one off? Oh gosh. <laughs> what? It just popped right off. Did you do that? This is so exciting. So um, I'm going to try to preserve the trim as much as possible. And I'm not sure what we're gonna do about this tile wall, but I'm gonna go ahead and try and get the backsplash off, but it's super exciting. It was like, is this gonna happen? Now it's happening.
This is awesome, guys. Watch out, Mason. Didn't really think this through with the backsplash extending all the way over here. I was more concerned with the counter. But I don't think this is going to be too crazy hard to get off now that most of it's not attached. I'm just going to squeeze through that silicone. So what I'm kind of hoping is that we might be able to just take this whole piece of drywall off um, so that I don't have to break the tile up on my floor. And from there, we'll I'm gonna try to cut this wall down even with the other countertop. And then we'll take this, I'll take this off and then we'll reframe out the top of the counter and then we'll be ready to let them come in and do the template and measurements for the new countertops. Okay, so I'm trying to get this trim piece off like as intact as possible so that we can reuse it when we re-drywall this. So I'm just taking my paint scraper. It's just in there with like tiny little finishing nails. I'm going to like down to where the next nail is and I'm just kind of popping it off. I was able to get the other side off pretty. And so I can set this aside and then hopefully we can reuse it when we add the new drywall. So there's some little nails here I'm going to be careful of. It looks like I'm going to be able to do the same with this end trim and this end piece of wood, although I'm not sure if I want to do that. Because that doesn't look to be anything, this is just a trim piece, it's nothing with the actual framing of the counter. So I'm gonna try to pop this guy off, I might need a crowbar. So it would be great if I could save those and put them back on. So I got the whole side piece with the trim and everything, so hopefully we'll just be able to cut that and put it back on the side. Okay guys, so it's time to take down the tile wall. They're coming in two days to measure the counter, so I've gotta get this tile wall down. We have to reframe, and then I gotta get the drywall up so that they can measure. So um, I'm a little nervous. I don't know how messy this is gonna be. I have my helpers here, so wish me luck.
So the kitchen bar is lowered. You guys, it's awesome. It already looks so much more open to the living room and I'm so excited to see how it turns out. Um, the people were here this morning cutting, uh, measuring and making a template for the new countertops and I'm just so excited to share the next step with you guys.